What's up, everybody? It's the world's leading expert on patellar tendon ruptures once again. I'm Kyle, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few things that I recommend to really help build up the, the uh, atrophy, the, the muscle shrinkage that you get in your leg after you suffer an injury like a patellar tendon rupture. Two gentlemen recently reached out about this very issue, so I figured I'm gonna solve the problem for you today. Hopefully, you enjoy it. If you do, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to get the book, the link is below this in the information section of the video. Enjoy the video. Look forward to helping. So one of the first things that I tell people you got to focus on with this severity of knee injury is you got to, you got to build up the posterior chain. The hips control the knees. The knee is what's called a stupid joint but it's gonna get all the signals, most of the signals from the hip. So this is how to build up the quads, but I'm gonna start with something for the posterior chain, a single-legged deadlift. A lot of people don't know how to do this, but it is crucial that you know how to do this. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let me make sure you can see me. So you'll, and for the purposes of this part exercise, I have a kettlebell. You can use a barbell, it's a little more advanced, or a dumbbell. Weight is gonna be in the opposite hand. The leg gets planted on the ground, which would be my left leg for this, there you go, is the one working. Right leg, right hand is gonna have the weight, so I come over here. So, slight bend in my left leg, that's key, okay? If you lock the knee, you take the hip out of the movement. You don't want that. From here, I reach my back leg back, notice the extension, I keep my toe pulled in towards my shin. And this is gonna hammer the stability in that leg that's on the ground, but really hit the hamstrings, glutes, okay? All the posterior. You can feel the calf kind of grabbing onto the ground. These are excellent. I would incorporate these. If you need to start with that weight, you do that. You just take your hand, you're over. Nice and easy. That is a great one to start with. Highly recommended. So that's exercise number one. The second exercise, single leg squat. Pick the height, watch how I do these. Okay, this is a single leg squat that I'm gonna go on to show you. Rear foot elevated split squats. On this, if I was on this pad, this fire box, I'd be here. I'm coming up. I wanna just touch my heel down to the ground and back up. Keep your heel flat that's on the platform, on the box. Okay, shift the hips back and touch. If you're gonna load weight, I would start with loading the opposite hand, the hand that has the leg that's touching the ground. Again, you gotta build the hips the way you're going to do that. And isolate the quads is single legged squat patterns. Don't worry about doing double legged stuff. I've got plenty of stuff on the channel for that down the road. That is one of the main things I would be doing. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the rear foot elevated split squat. So the last thing, the third thing I'm gonna show you is how to do a rear foot elevated split squat, Bulgarian split squat. At the end, again, I'm gonna reiterate why it's super important to do single-legged exercises to try to build up the size in your leg once again, rather than starting with the isolation stuff. So on this, you just have a bench in the gym with some kind of pad. My rear foot is gonna be elevated. Okay, lays it down, I come down, touch the pad, I'm back up. That front shin should stay vertical. Don't let it pass way out past the foot. If you're gonna use weight, Use weight in the opposite hand. When I say opposite hand, leg gets working, I put weight in my right hand. This is my left leg. I back up. The second variation of that is a speed skater squat. These are nasty because they're hard, because they work, you're gonna put size on your leg. And add weight, obviously, if you need it on this stuff. But on a speed skater squat, what you're gonna do, you come over here, same position. Come down and touch, I come halfway up, I come back down, I come all the way up. Those are awesome, in my opinion, injured knee or not, recovering from surgery, that is the hardest leg exercise there is. Especially if you start getting up into that 10 plus rep range with decent weight. But start with body weight, build this stuff up. Now, if that hurts, last thing you're gonna do is a regular split squat. Come over the pad, not elevated, Come down and touch, you can hold it goblet style, hold weight, opposite, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of hold weight in the opposite hand. Right here. Okay. 
Make sure you work both sides, but a big mistake is people working bilateral, don't do that. Work single leg, work single leg. That's what you have to do the first year, year and a half predominantly. Big fan too of incorporating high rep, lightweight leg extension to build up the, the atrophy and the blood flow back into the quads. Add that in after you do this stuff. If you have questions, leave them below. I'm happy to help. Once again, the link is below for the book. And I've got some really cool stuff. I'm meeting with a guy next week down in Florida about the next level of the book, next level coaching. People have been asking me for private coaching with this. Yeah, I'm happy to help you. Just post a question. I'll hit you up. Good luck. Keep the mind strong. Peace.